everybody, it's Christy back with another video and today we are going to talk about what I picked up on this most recent Prime Big Days business. I got um, some stuff that I have been looking at for a while, some stuff that I've been thinking I wanted to pick up, a couple of surprises, one big surprise. I'm saving that one to the end of the video, but uh, yeah, I just figured that since a lot of you like to watch what's going to happen on the channel upcoming, that I would give you some ideas about what we are up to. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm actually going to start with the biggest thing that I have here on the desk. I have something bigger. Spoiler alert, I have something bigger. But this is the first thing. This was, I don't know, less than $10, and it just looked so cool to me. I wanted something new for my desk, maybe that can hold paintbrushes or pencils. Sorry for the very loud wrapping noises. But yeah, check this guy out. So it's got these tiny little legs and it's supposed to spin. Yeah, so it spins. So we can just like looking over here at all the stuff I have all over the place. We have pencils. I have like fine liners everywhere. I have a whole bunch of brushes that just like sit on my desk. So we could just, maybe even the brushes can go in the middle. Ooh, I like that because it's a little bit taller there. And yeah, I can just actually store a bunch of the stuff that's scattered on my desk, maybe in this nice big thing that turns around. I do have to hold it to turn it. So we'll end up seeing once it's filled up if it's a little bit more sturdy, but it, like I said, it was less than 10 bucks and it just looked pretty, pretty. I thought it would look really nice on my desk. I love the color. So I grabbed that on prime day deals. All right. Whatever it was. I don't know if it was prime day or if it was like prime big days. This I'm going to talk about in a minute. I want to talk about these. So as you guys know, if you've been around the channel, I bought some pan pastels recently, so I did go ahead and buy a couple of soft knives and covers. I have a couple already. I wanted some more. All right, so when I got my pan pastels, they sent me these two, and I have one of these from Sketchbox as well, and then they sent me this little knife with a couple of covers. I know I have at least one more that is some kind of shape. I'll have to find it. But I wanted a few more, so I went ahead and bought some on Amazon. Now, I know that there are sites where you can buy these things, the, the sponges, a little bit less expensively than what Soft offers. But I just figured I wanted a couple of different ones so that I can use them in color families at least. So, like, maybe one for, like, my greens and one for, like, your warmer colors. Maybe one for your cooler colors. Maybe one for earth tones. I don't know. I just wanted to have a couple of these at my disposal. So these I already had. These ones I just picked up. And then on top of that, I also grabbed these, which were really inexpensive, like five or six bucks. And there's their makeup ones. They look like eyeshadow applicators. That's what they are. But they have these nice, big, long, let me open one so you can see it. They have these nice, big, long handles on them. So they're not so tiny. And I feel like I could probably use them for a long time. So I got 20 of these for like six bucks. And I figured that's a great, great way to kind of have one for each color. And then just kind of designate all this with my pan pastels. So... That was something that I picked up that I'm going to use upcoming on the channel. I know I keep saying, hey, we're going to do more with pan pastels on the channel, and I haven't yet. I just keep amassing more stuff to play with them. I promise I'm not going to get afraid of them. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. It's coming. Okay, it's coming. So in the spirit of let's do funky things on the channel, I also bought a lino cutter. <laughs> I haven't opened it yet. And I bought some erasers. If you guys have seen Mira Byler's channel, you know that she did this and she inspired me to give it a try. So for years, I was a rubber stamper and then I was an acrylic stamper. I still have tons of stamps over there. 
So the idea of taking these little erasers and drawing on them and then cutting out my own stamps is so cool. And as you know, I've had bunches of ink on the channel lately as well. So I went ahead and picked up, here it is, this lino cutter. And I'm not going to get this out of the box today because this isn't the day to play with it. But it's got all these nice tips. I'm going to have to play before we get into it on the channel. But it also came with four really big rubber blocks. I don't want to use these until I play a little bit, so I figured I would buy some rubber erasers and play in those. Everything is still all sealed up because I just bought it at the store. So I bought these also. They're just your standard pink pearl erasers, and again, I got a good deal on them, so they have a nice flat surface, and we can go ahead and cut and then we can dip them in ink pads and give them a try. So this is something that we're going to do in a future video. I'm thinking either in December or January, November and October are pretty jam packed as it is. We've got Advent on Advent on Advent calendars coming and some other stuff. So we are going to kind of get into some of this a little bit later. The next things that I picked up and I kind of said in my last video, oh, I need some pens. I need some pens to play with my ink. So you know what I did? I bought some pens. <laughs> I bought some fountain pens. So this one I think is blue. Yeah. So we've got this guy here. Really nice weight to it. So yeah, sorry, my footage got cut there, but look at how nice and hefty this is really nice weight to it. You open it up and it's got a medium nib. Really pretty. I, I didn't, I paid less than $20 for this pen. It was between 10 and 20. Again, it was prime day and I am not going to put up exact prices just because of that. And it does have a charger in here. So we'll see if I can figure out how to do this. I think that you just draw the ink up into here, but I'm not entirely sure how that works. So maybe we'll play with that later on here in the video. See how that goes. Maybe I'm just supposed to dip it in. I don't know. I'm going to do a little bit of research before I do that. Oh, it's got that nice snap. And it came in this nice case. So super cool. I'm really excited to play more with ink. This is another three pack of fountain pens just because, you know, when I go all in on something, I go all in on it. And this was the Jinhao 82. I believe a few of you recommended these to me as a nice alternative on the last video. So thank you. We were on the same page, but oh, these are nice too. Afraid to break it? <laughs> Maybe it does unscrew. Oh yeah, it does. It totally unscrews. Glad I didn't pull on that. So that's got a really beautiful nib also. And let's see if on the inside here they also came with nice converters. So I'm going to learn. I think that if I just twist it like that, that's how you put the ink in it. Like you pull it out of here and you put the ink in it. So we'll play. We'll have some playtime today. But we've got this one with the gold nib. I kind of like that they, they seal like that because then if it leaks, it's not going to get everywhere. And then we have a blue and white one. Again, really nice nib. Everything came not cracked. Inside here to see. Yep, we've got a nice converter in there. These are all medium nibs as well. I just went all medium nibs. And I think I have a pen coming from Ferris Wheel Press too, so we'll see. And then this one finally, which is like super pretty, little mermaidy. 
some of my favorite colors, this like pastel, violet, and teal. So maybe I'll come back later in the video and we will try to fill these a little bit and then stick them in my new desk, my new desk thing. A new pencil cup, I guess is what you would call that. I wish I could talk today. All right, I got this for my daughter and I to do. It's a paint your own dinosaur lamp. We're going to open it and see. My nephew is four and I thought this would be really cool to do. It was like seven or eight bucks. It came with paint, which I will probably not use. <laughs> Ooh, it did come with one of these little palettes. I love these. What a nice value add that I didn't know I was getting. Some kind of scratch off, which we're probably going to ignore. And then we've got our little dinosaur here. I bought him because I thought he would be such a cute little thing for my nephew and we would paint him. I don't want to, well, I kind of do want to pull the battery and see if it works. Oh, it does work. Look, all right, turn it off. And then we'll turn it on. Oh, he's super cute. So I'm really glad that he works and we're going to paint him up with some, maybe acrylic gouache. I think it gouache would look really nice on him because it would be matte and I think it would be really fun. I might have my daughter do the majority of it and then I will touch it up, but I think that would be such a cool gift to give my nephew for Christmas, and I think he would really appreciate it, especially if it was done by my daughter. So those are kind of what I bought. I didn't buy a ton. Well, I didn't buy a ton. I did buy one really expensive thing. So let me clear my desk off, and then I will bring back the rather expensive item that I finally took the plunge on, and I will explain why I did it, mainly because I have full set syndrome. All right, stay tuned. All right, so for a long time now, I have been eyeing the full set of Prismacolor pencils. And finally, on Prime Day, they went on sale. So I think I got these for close to a hundred bucks. It was, it was really a good deal in my opinion. I haven't seen them that low priced here in America in a very long time. I have been watching and watching and watching. It was a discounted item and then there was a coupon. And then I also had um, a little bit of store credit. So they were probably a little more than that. And then I used my points or store credit, but I just couldn't pass it up. So I finally did it. I got the set of 150 Prismacolors. So here are the warm colors, sort of. Go ahead and just put them up there like that. There are some of the cool colors, although they're in a kind of weird order. And then there's earth tones. Can I manage this without spilling? So there, you can kind of see all 150 colors. And I am so excited to play with these. I have never had the full set. My set that I keep on my desk is kind of a mishmash. It's got some other pencils mixed in, but I really wanted to have the full set of Prismacolors. And now I can just replace as I go. And I was just really excited that I got a good deal on these. So that was the last thing that I bought on Prime Big Deal Days or whatever they're calling it. But look just how beautiful this box is. So this is going to sit on the shelf with my Albrecht Dorr watercolor pencils and they will only come out for more special occasions and I know don't make anything too precious but I am excited to have a second full set of something I really love that I really enjoy using that I should use more. All right so now I'm going to go ahead and get set up and let's play with these fountain pens and see if we can get some of them to write with some of my new ink from Ferris Wheel Press. All right, so I think I'm going to start with this pen here, and we're going to fill it up with my uh, Peter Moss. This is the Peter Moss tiny little vial. It's really hard for you to see, and that's upside down. But it's green. It's dark green ink. I'm going to go ahead and put it in this pen. So I think I just pull this out like this. 
and then I put it in the top of this and I squeeze it up. I like turn it up. Okay. Can I do this without making a mess is the question. Yeah, it's totally doing it. Wow. This is super neat. Okay, so I have filled it, I think. I think there's ink in it. So I'm going to put this back in here. Like that. And then we put the lid on it. This, and now we're going to see if it works. <laughs> Maybe it was that easy. I hope it was that easy. That was pretty, pretty cool. All right, so I went ahead and tried to fill this the correct way, dipping it down into here. The one problem that I had was that I, I can't get the whole neck of this down into this tiny little bottle, so I could only get as much ink as I could in here, but the ink is really pretty. Like, look how nice that looks. And I do really like this pen. So it's it's able to, to write nicely. It's got this really pretty green color, which I feel like for fall is really great. I meant to write. Let me try that again. There we go. Oh, it's nice. I like it. All right, so now I'm going to show you the filling process. I'm going to put this one together. So here's my green. I'm going to go ahead and try with the bigger bottle here because it has a wider neck. I'm going to mix it up really good, and we're going to do it for this pen here. So let's take this pen apart. Make sure I didn't mess with the actual converter that it's in there well. So now let's plunge it all the way down. Okay. And let's shake this ink up good. Here. I'm going to move this book for the time being. And let's go ahead and make sure cuz I want the sparkles. I want the sparkles in here. Otherwise, it would not be as fun. That's the whole point, right? Okay, yeah, so I can get this one way down in, which is great. Now let's... All right, I really had to dip it down in there, but I think I was able to get it in pretty good. Seems pretty full. So now we're going to go ahead and cap that back up. I'm going to wipe this off and see how we write. Bottles make me so nervous, guys. All right, so let's see here now. Ooh, this is right really nicely. So that's the name of the color. I'm curious to see if it's if it's gonna shine. So let's just give a little. lot of it out here to see oh yeah oh yeah the sparkle is in there it's not getting stuck up in the pen so it would be really fun to draw sketches with this to like sit and get sketchy with this to draw a little door Cute little cottagey thing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So as it dries, you guys can see. I'm going to come close to the camera, but it is, it is sparkling. So cool. All right. Well, then, 
So now we actually have some really cool fountain pens to play with and my hands are thoroughly covered in ink. <laughs> so I will mess with that later. Hopefully they will stay capped and nice. We've got a green one and we've got a blue one here and maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do another one. I like these two. I probably have some black ink somewhere that I could fill with a pen. Might be a cool idea to do. I am definitely excited to put some more ink in these pens and actually play with some ink pens and and at least this one can go in my little desk thing here. I don't know if I'm going to keep this one in its little case or just set it out so that I can use it or just do that so that it's in both things. So here, hold on. Here's my new little desk. See, look, now it's spinning. See, because I put something heavy in it. So if we do pens here, maybe these are like normal pens. Those are fine liners. So maybe these are like normal pens. And then here we have, that's a marker. It's a mild liner. What else we got over here? Pencil. An Emma Craftima pencil. I've got a pair of scissors. I'll stick those there. Fine liners, fine liner, brush pen, fine liner, another pair of scissors, pen, just regular pen, uh, brush white ink pen, kind of probably that goes here, and tweezers can go here in the mishmash, and th these are black wing pencils that shouldn't be sitting in here, but they are, and maybe this can go right there, maybe this is... Looking pretty good. I like this. I like it a lot. All right. So we have a few different things and a few different directions that we can take for upcoming videos. So I'm going to put it as a call to action here in the comments below. Tell me if you are most excited to see me do a video on ink and playing with ink pens, a video on making my own rubber stamps out of erasers like Mira Byler did, a video on a deep dive into those Prismacolor pencils or a video on pan pastels because I do finally have everything I think I need to really play with those appropriately. Um, or last but not least, would you like to see me do some studio organization stuff? Because this room is a mess and I need to get in here and do some organizing. And I was thinking about doing some vlog type stuff where I show you what's going on and take you along with it. So let me know in the comments below which of those things you would like to see first on the channel. And that's going to be it for me today. I hope that this inspires you to maybe check out some deals on Amazon and play with something that you didn't think you'd ever play with before in your art studio. 